Hello y'all. Welcome to part 5 of my Rene Gonan Morocco playthrough and the Hearts of Iron 4 mod and Kaiser Redux. In part 4 we declared war on the Third International led by the Commune of France and the Union of Britain and so we're fighting France, Britain, Malta, and Norway right now and we are making some gains into France while at the same time we're trying to fend off some naval invasions by the British in Spain. So we have a doctrine here, doctrine available. We're doing mass assault. Let's do defense in depth, mass mobilization, and we have unassigned divisions here. Give them over to the 5th Army, who is being sent into Iberia to try and fight this British naval invasion, to try and deter this British naval invasion in Old Castile. And it shouldn't be too hard to do that. It shouldn't be too difficult to do that, I mean, because the British should not have any ports. They don't have any ports under their control. And that will be settled in a little bit. We lost a naval battle here, whatever. Let's unpause now, continue our push into France. We just took a state there in Limousine, Limousine, whatever. We're just trying to push with, with everything we have because Morocco is going to take over France. That is our goal. And we're going to undo the Battle of Tours because, well, France will be under French Muslim control. Very esoteric French Muslim control, though, with that said, because our country is led by Rene Gonan. And we can't do anything in our focus tree right now because we have to be at peace to do anything. And so we do have to be the Third International. Unassigned divisions, give them to the Fifth Army. And their objective is to go drive off that naval invasion, as you may be aware already. So try and attack these troops here. We probably don't have the best template for fighting all these divisions and this huge faction, but we need to probably get some more research done. Like for example, we didn't even have we didn't even have artillery, so let's now research told told artillery. And we'll have that technology at this point. We didn't even, we didn't even have Artie. But we're still making so many gains right now. And Romania has declared war on Bulgaria. In part four, the Belgrade Pact kind of died. They got beat up by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And now Illyria is fighting against the Austrians for some reason. Well, the entire Danal Adrabond faction for some reason. I don't know what their deal is, but that's what's going on. The Portuguese Empire joined Entente, which the Portuguese Empire is right here. The Entente is the faction led by the Kingdom of Canada. It consists of South Rhodesia, the French National State, the Dominion of Delhi, the Austrasian Confederation, South Africa, Costa Rica, Hawaii, a lot of factions at this point. And a battle the African coast. We lost a battle there, whatever. As long as we're winning on land, that is what matters. And we can get mechanical computing research now. We'll do that. We only have two research slots, so we got to be very particular in what we try to research. And there's a naval invasion in the Bel Air Islands. It's sort of going not much in our favor, honestly. Well, be, yeah, it shouldn't be that surprising because we only have like two divisions defending that place. Well, is it just one or two? One division at this point. So we may lose that area. Now let's add this army to this front line here. We gotta redo the front lines we have in France. Send this fourth army there of Army Group One and try to push toward Paris with about not 117 divisions, but with about say, I don't know, almost 100 divisions. We're not counting the third army because all they do is garrison duty. And here comes the four, fifth army. They're gonna move into this little area here near La Rochelle and Poitou, Poitou, whatever. Is got to push into France. That's all we got to do. Keep the attack going on constantly in France. We also have tons of military factories being constructed and we have tons of guns we have to make. We're very behind in production because we're needing a ton for reinforcement every day because judging by the casualty figures in this war statistic thing here you can probably tell who's doing all the attacking and who's doing all the defending. Okay so yeah, that's what's happening there. We're trying to push into this area. Well, they're trying to drive us back. It's not going too well. Unassigned divisions. Give them over to the 5th Army. Who's going to push more into France very soon. And let's get direct ground support researched. We're being affected pretty bad by attrition right now due to supplies, possibly. I think that's a problem for us. I believe it is. Yeah, it kind of is. The attrition from that is rough. More divisions are ready, though. Send them off to the 5th Army. We may need to fix supply issues, perhaps. And we have some planes available, maybe? Can I get some planes up in the air, possibly? Where's the air bases at? We need an air base. Air base. One right here. How many planes do we even have at this point? We have 300-some fighters. 
So let's get about three squadrons up in the air and just try to take control of southern France, at least stop their bombers from attacking everything. We have no fuel, or we have some fuel, not much. Yeah, we're going to deplete our fuel reserves very fast, unfortunately. We may need to get some trades for that. Just trade with maybe... Trade with Romania right now. They'll be happy to take our trade deal because they will get civilian factories. And they probably need factories for their war with Bulgaria. Japan announces her ambitions. Okay. And our trade deal with Romania was a good idea because now we're not going to have any problems with getting fuel for our planes. And in the military doctrine, land doctrine availability, the land doctrine tree here, there's a war in Arabia. Okay. Let's get mass mobilization, some mass mobilization done, infantry offensive. That will be complete. We have that research done, and that will help our army fight even better, our military overall. We're still trying to push the French out here. We took, I think, Nimes. we got to get to Marcel very soon. I hope we do get to that place. And we're trying to stretch out the French forces here. I don't know how many divisions they even have at this point. Let me check. They have approximately... We have 117 divisions. The French have almost the same amount as us. And the British, the Union of Britain, has like 44 at most. Malta has two at most, Norway has thir and Norway has 32, and the Socialist Republic of Italy is not fighting, apparently. So, we are slightly outnumbered in this conflict. Well, not even slightly. We have, like, a 50-division de deficit. But fortunately, in France, all we're really fighting is the Commune of France's divisions, and we have about equal numbers with them. So that's the positive, I guess. And now, let's have more divisions get deployed, or not, because we can't get enough weapons to them. What am I doing? Nicaragua joined the Liberal Pact in Central America. How is the Second American Civil War going? We have Guatemala joined the Liberal Pact. New England got annexed by Canada. The Federalists took control of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is under their control, yep. And the CSA is probably going to die very soon because they're losing a lot of ground to the CAR and the Federalist. Huey Long and the American Union State is fighting hard against the Pacific States of America, and they're also busy in the east, well, the eastern United States. Research slot available. Let's get maybe interwar artillery done and continue our attack into France here. Can we get some, I need to get some artillery research done in the near future. And there's a naval battle here. We're probably going to lose a convoy to these submarines that have sort of been tormenting us throughout this entire war. The British have just been fighting us with that. And the, there's been a peace deal between Afghanistan and Canada. What happened there? I think Afghanistan, did they win or lose a war? Okay, never mind. I think they just had a peace deal. I think Afghanistan made some gains. They took Kashmir and West Punjab. I don't think they controlled that prior to that war, breaking out the Anglo-Afghan War, like the 5th Anglo-Afghan War. More divisions for the 5th Army. Well, that's one new division anyway. That unit now has, that army now has 15 divisions. Get more divisions sent up here eventually. Keep pushing. And can we improve our template at all in any way? We possibly could. We need artillery. All we really have in our template right now is infantry for our infantry divisions. Yeah, just infantry. Let's add one more to have 20 with. I may eventually replace one of these infantry battalions with artillery, but not right now because we just need to focus on winning this war. We don't have the supplies to really give everyone artillery at this point because we have such a bad gun deficit. We're behind in production. Like, we need, like, I think, let me recall, we have, like, we need 300,000 guns for production. Huge join the Reichs Pact. Yeah, we need, I mean, we needed like over 300,000 guns for reinforcement, and now we need almost 400,000 guns for reinforcement. We're really behind on that. We are pushing, though. Get some more guns. Just have tons of factories ready to be sent off. Tons of guns to be sent off to our divisions at the front line. And we just lost a trade deal with Romania. That's not good. We do have more fighters, though. I need to get some more fuel, though, and fast, because our planes don't operate themselves. They need to run on something. And... I need to get another trade deal. Who can trade with us? Anyone at all? Anybody want to give us fuel? Flanders, Wallonia. Flanders is our best friend at this point. They keep trading with us for some reason. I'm not complaining, though, because it gets us fuel. And we're going to get some fuel now from the Flanders, Wallonia. They're fine with that. Thank you, Flanders, Wallonia. And we have some more divisions for the 5th Army. They'll be ready to go very soon. There's a naval battle result. We lost that battle. Unsurprisingly, it's convoys versus submarines. We're crying out loud. Do we even have control of the air at this point? We do not. We have 400 fighters here fighting against 423 of their fighters. Maybe if we have like 100 more, we might be able to win the skies there in southern France, but I'm not so sure. There's a naval invasion there in our country. 
Let's get maybe a, get maybe, what is this? A sixth army set up and just have them sort of be around as an emergency unit to try and stop naval invasions from landing constantly. If they establish a port, that's going to be a front for the British to attack us from, and we can't have that happen. So let's send in some more divisions over there to Navarra. Well, one division up to Navarra, because that's all we can spare at this point, really. We're so focused on trying to drive out, the, taking all of France from the Commune of France. Red Flood, okay, wow. That's a reference to the Commune of France called the West Indies Union to their aid. And the Red Flood event is a reference, I think, to the mod, the Holy Four mod, Holy Four mod of the same name, the Hearts of Iron Four mod, where nobody won World War I. And right now we're trying to stop these British troops from landing more in Spain. Okay, good, their naval invasion is sort of stalled out. They have no supply, that's why. Doctrine's available, one unit got encircled. Let's get maybe formation fighting to try and get a higher air superiority, air superiority mission efficiency. That's done. Honduras declared war on the Salvadorian Commune. We are making some gains in France. It's just taking some time because of the brutal fighting going on there. We're fighting against a lot of tanks and militia and cavalry with what amounts to a little more than bolt-action rifles. We just have a really good national spirit that allows us to win, honestly. That's really what is carrying our offensive at this point, but we will eventually push into Paris at some point, even though it will take many dead soldiers to get there. A lot of bloodshed will have shed in order for us to take Paris, and something happened there. I think Argentina got annexed, and let's see our losses to further elaborate on what I was saying about bloodshed and everything. A British operative was captured. Okay, where is it here? Where is it? I gotta find it. Great. Somebody's been called into a war. The Federal Socialist Republic of Chile. I hope they're not going to be a major member of the faction. Yeah, we've had we have taken nearly a million losses right now. And fortunately, all we have to do to beat the Third International, all we have to do is defeat the Union of Britain and the Commune of France. After that, it's all easy street for us. But until we get to that point, it's just going to be a long push for us. And in the Land Doctrine Tree, let's do Large Front Offensive for Mass Mobilization. I think we just got a computing research thing done. Let's get ready. We need a higher reinforcement rate and higher coordination for our divisions. That would be beneficial for sure. We're still pushing into France. Well, yeah, we're going to be pushing into France for a long time. Honestly, the Third International sent more troops to aid their French comrades. This invasion, this offensive would have stalled out at some point, I think. But we just keep gaining ground because all we're really fighting is the Commune of France in France. Like, their allies aren't really playing too big of a part there, except for the British. The British are trying with naval invasions, and that's sort of a mixed bag because the British are destroying our convoys and they took the Bel Air Islands, but their naval invasions naval invasions into Spain kind of failed. There's a Dutch Revolution. I bet, I bet they'll join the Third International, which will be a problem. And that is the Batavia Commune, Batavian Commune. That's their official name. They may join the Third International, which would not surprise me. And let's get some more research done for artillery. Doctrine available. Air Doctrine, let's do hunt and destroy. Air support mission efficiency will go up because of that. And can we get any more fighters out, please? A hundred more fighters for us. Deploy them to southern France. We're fighting pretty hard over the skies here. The Third International has about, well, they have about, they have nearly 500 fighters. We have about 500 fighters ourselves. We should eventually claim air superiority at some point as we just flood in with more and more planes as we produce them. And that's what we're really trying to do with the air on the air front of the war. And going now to our Navy, the Navy isn't really doing anything. The main fight for us is with our Army and with our Air Force. Our Navy is just sort of sitting back and let stuff happen because honestly we have no hope of fighting like what? Six countries navies. The Navy, the navies of six different countries. Like we have five destroyers. They cannot do anything if they tried. We just need to build up our navy and not get our ships destroyed. And we're still pushing here. We're going to make our way to Tours. We're going to get the Tours very soon. And we'll be able to stop this offensive. Let's do force attack here for the second army. Can we do it for the first army also? No, we don't have enough command power, I think. Oh, well. And we are... Okay, good. A lot of green bubbles. A lot of red bubbles also. Well, mostly red bubbles, honestly. It's pretty much... We are gaining ground, though. We're not losing any ground, at the very least. We are losing some battles, technically. We're also not really suffering, per se. Now let's push back this cavalry division here. This 8th cavalry division. Send them packing and try to take this province. Okay, in Burgundy, it's not going to work out for us because it turns out they moved a militia division in to protect that area. Now they have a 3rd division there, so that's 
pretty much not going to be taken immediately now. And the French are losing ground, but it's just going to take us a pretty, I don't know, it's going to be a very drawn out conflict in how we get toward Paris. We are making gains, obviously, just taking some time. And I'm going to end part five of my Rene Gounon Morocco playthrough in Kaiser Redux here. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.